Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here. We want to calculate the derivative using the definition of the derivative, which is off to the side. And so let's begin. Now, this is going to involve limits. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. And wherever you see an x, you're going to replace it with x plus h. So we have the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close the parentheses, minus 2. But we're not done yet. We also have a minus f of x, so minus the original piece. So minus the square root of 3x minus 2. And the whole thing is being divided by h. Now, what we need to do next is multiply by the conjugate. So we're going to keep this piece, but instead of having a negative, you're going to put a plus, And I'll show you what I mean. So we'll have the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close it, minus 2, plus the square root of 3x minus 2. Now if you do it for the numerator, you also have to put it onto the denominator. So the same exact thing. So the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close it, minus 2, plus the square root of 3x minus 2. And so now we're going to clean it up. We'll have the limit as h approaches 0. We'll take this piece right here, multiply by this piece. So we're going to get rid of this square root. So we have 3 parentheses x plus h, close parentheses, minus 2. Now we take this piece and we multiply by this. Likewise, we take this negative, this piece, and we multiply by this piece. And they're the opposite, so they cancel out. The last thing we do is we take this piece and we multiply by this piece. And they're the same, except one's negative. So all we're going to do is get rid of the square root. So we'll have minus parentheses 3x minus 2 close parentheses. The whole thing being divided by h and this piece right here. So we have the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h close it minus 2 plus the square root of 3x minus 2 close parentheses. At this point we're just cleaning up again. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. We're going to use the distributive property here. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times h is 3h. We have a negative 2, and then we use distributive property for this piece. A negative 3x we'll get, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so a positive 2. And the whole thing being divided by this piece here. So we'll have h parentheses, the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close it, minus 2, plus the square root of 3x minus 2, close parentheses. So the 3x and the negative 3x cancels, negative 2 and the positive 2 also cancels, and now we can rewrite it again. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 for 3h divided by this piece here. So we have h parentheses, the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close it, minus 2, plus the square root of 3x minus 2. Now the h's cancel. And so we can rewrite it one more time. We have the limit as h approaches 0 for 3 divided by that piece right there. So we have the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h, close it, minus 2, plus the square root of 3x minus 2. And so what we're going to do next is replace h with 0. And so now you'll notice that we have the exact same thing for this piece and this piece. So we have two times of it. So now what we're going to do is replace the h with 0. So we're going to get 3 divided by the square root of 3 parentheses x plus h is just x. So we have 3x minus 2 plus the square root of 3x minus 2. And we'll simplify it one more time. So our final answer, the derivative, is equal to 3 divided by, we have the same exact thing. So you could say you have 2 times 3x minus 2. This right here is our final answer. And that's all we need to do to solve this problem using the definition of a derivative. 